Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I will be showing us where you can find the secret battle chart slash secret banner for week 7 in Fortnite Battle Royale for season 8. So let's begin today's video and before we begin today's video, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button and turn on the small notification bell which is right next to it to be notified every single time whenever we are making a new video here on this channel. Don't forget to smash the like button because that would highly be appreciated and yeah, that would really mean the world to me. So now let's begin today's video. As you guys all know, there is like something that you have to collect after completing all your weekly challenges. It can either be a secret banner or a secret battle star after you're done. So what happens after you're done completing the certain weekly challenge, you get a loading screen. And in that loading screen, there's always a hint if there is going to be a battle star or a secret banner for that particular week. So in this season, we have the secret wallpaper, the secret loading screen, and boom, let me just put it out here. Now this wallpaper, you will be able to complete, you will be able to get after you're done completing all your week seven challenges, and that's very easy. Now, if you, if you look at the loading screen, you wouldn't be able to find a secret banner or a secret battle star. Now, we did a lot of research, and when we zoomed in, right on this spot, we were able to see the position, the location of the secret battle star slash secret banner. Now, if you look at this picture, you will be able to see that there's like some sort of thing which you need to collect on that spot. Now, that spot, I will be taking you guys here in today's video. Well, so, once you go over there, there's definitely going to be a battle star. There's a 99% chance that there's going to be a battle star at this exact position that I will be spraying and dancing right now. So, you need to go over to this position, as you guys can see here in this video, of this wooden rabbit, which is next to Pleasant Park and next to the big pirate camp. Are also next to snobby shores so the wooden rabbit is exactly located over there so once you go to that exact wooden rabbit you will be able to see the secret banner or the secret battle star on its back or or down below because fortnite just loves to change a few things here and there as we have seen in the past fortnite would like just change this location maybe it might be on its back maybe it might be at the very bottom so keep an eye out for that so once you go over there you will be able to collect it from that exact spot as you guys can see here in the video make sure guys i'm gifting my subscribers some free skins gifting them out so i'm adding you guys so if you want some free skins for myself if you guys are my subscriber the three things that you have to follow first of all make sure you guys smash the like button that's it that's rule number one. Second thing comment your gamer tag in the in the comments down below with your console which console you guys play on and the third and the most easiest thing is to subscribe to my channel and that would highly be appreciated ladies and gentlemen those are the three things help us reach to 300,000 subscribers and also don't forget to use the supporter creator code tamasha bearer in the fortnite item shop because it resets every 14 days and yeah that would highly be appreciated now if you guys are wondering like how can i get the secret battle star or the secret banner after completing all of my week 7 challenge and if you guys don't know what the week 7 challenges are well the challenges are very easy and you will be able to complete this challenge in like less than 30 minutes and then you can can easily complete this battle star in a matter of another 60 seconds so if you guys don't have like enough time to play fortnite well this is the video and you're watching it the right time so the first challenge for this week is to deal damage to opposing players while riding a zipline so that means you need to land at a spot where there are enough zip lines i know it's a place where there where there's like more than 50 zip lines yes that is going to be sunny steps so you need to be landing at sunny steps when the direction of the battle bus is from sunny steps to polar peak or sunny steps to some other spot if Sunny Steps is nearby, you can go to that certain spot to complete your challenge because there are like a ton of zip lines over there and the other enemies will be also going over there to complete their challenge. Because let me talk to you guys about stage 2. The stage 2 is going to be deal damage to, to players who are riding the zip line and you are not, okay? There's a big difference. The first challenge is while you're riding the zip line. The second challenge is like to deal damage to the players who is using the zip line. So it's a pretty easy challenge. Everyone would be out there trying to deal damage to other players while you're using a zip line and on the zip line. So it's a pretty fun challenge to complete. So if you guys are facing any difficulties, do let me know. I will be more than happy to help you guys out and point you guys to more directions. We can even land at like the icy regions of Polar Peak and stuff, you know, like places over there. Because there are like a few more zip lines over there. Now these are the two challenges. I'm pretty sure these will be like two different stages or there's a good possibility that this might even come as a different challenge. So keep an eye out for that. The second challenge is going to be deal damage to players from above. So now this one might be changed into the zipline challenge that I was talking about just before. But if the challenge still stays, that means that you need to be or like a somewhat like a, a height and the player needs to be below you so that you can deal damage to the player from top to the person who's down there. So it's a pretty easy challenge and you can complete it in a very easy way. The third challenge is to deal damage with a pickaxe 
to your opponent so you need to use your pickaxe and you need to deal damage to your opponents like that's very easy and if you're gonna ask me like yo Tamasha, like the moment i drop in the map people just out there like with their shotguns and they're just like popping everyone on the head well it's a very easy challenge you need to make sure you land at a very crowdy spot just like tilted towers or salty springs where there's like too many people running around without guns in the pre-game you can go ahead and pickaxe him or else you can use my method the best and the easiest tip out in there in fortnite is to play a normal game because when you guys are playing a normal game what happens is like you can use your weapons to knock someone down in a game of duos or squads or in any other game mode or even the there's like you know uh the new uh, explosive uh, game mode is also there you can knock someone down and then you can use your pickaxe to deal damage to that person now this might be in like two different stages as well where you need to deal damage to with your pickaxe so just keep an eye out for that and this challenge is very easy to complete the third challenge is to eliminate opponents at different name locations so you need to land at the CERN name locations which will be specified in the game so once you go over there you need to eliminate those people which will be mentioned in the challenge now remember guys if you guys are wondering like i, I might i'm not even sure if players are going to be there if i'm out there completing my challenges well, let me remind you, they have their challenges to complete and you have your challenges to complete. So you can expect like same people like getting down at the same spot just like you. So I would give you guys a tip if the landing spot, like if the name locations are super nearby to the direction of the battle bus, try landing over there as soon as possible because there's will, there will be like more players available if it's in the direction of the battle bus. Yes, you have heard it right. That's one of the cool tips that I can give you guys to complete your challenges in a very easy way. The next one is going to be search chests at Loot Lake or Snobby Shores. So you need to search chests, like there are like a ton of chests at Loot Lake or Snobby Shores. Now let me tell you guys, now this these searching of chests might be at different name locations just to keep an eye out for that. Now if you want to open a chest at Loot Lake, you can even go to the main factories which is next to Loot Lake. But if you are going to Loot Lake, you need to be very careful because it's an open spot. And I'm pretty sure you are not going to have like many materials after this new patch update. And there's like not many places to farm at loot lake so just keep an eye out for that ladies and gentlemen uh when you're opening chests, like open the chest you know even if you want like you can leave the game start a new game and you can get into another new game and open chest over there or even go to snobby shores and go to like individual buildings but i really don't know if that's going to be a healthier choice because there will be like many people landing at a very cramped up spot so yeah thank you so much uh, for watching make sure you guys watch this video till the very end make sure to subscribe to the channel that would highly be appreciated turn on the notification bell the reason i ask you guys to turn on the notification bell is that so you guys get all the notifications from the channel whenever we are going live whenever we are making a video you guys will always be notified okay the next challenge is going to be visit pirate camps in a single match we need to visit like different pirate camps probably two or three in a single match now all these pirate camps locations i'm just going to put a map a map over here so you guys can go over to the spots and you guys can complete your challenge now the easiest way to complete your challenge would exactly be to not complete the challenge this week but instead if you want you can complete the challenge in week eight because in week eight the planes are coming back and it will be easier for you to travel from one pirate camp to the other pirate camp so it's just an easy thing it's just a tip if you guys are not in a hurry to complete your challenges and if you want to do it in a very easy way you can get into any vehicles atk quad crash or whatever like you can you guys can use anything in the game to complete your challenges now moving over to the next challenge which is to visit junk junction and the block in a single match or like a few other locations now we have seen this challenge before in this season where you need to visit like in a certain different spots in a single match like to hit like two different spots in a single match that's a pretty easy challenge you can even like you know try to do it in a game or even let like, just try to start a game get into a drift board or a quad crash or go to land at that spot then go to spot b and then leave the game because the challenges do count if you are leaving the game so these were all the challenges in the game if you guys have not you know like heard it properly if you guys want to hear it again First challenge, deal dam damage to opposing players while riding a zipline. Next one is deal damage to uh, opposing players riding a zipline. Then we have deal damage to players from above, deal damage with pickaxe to opponents. Then we have elemented opponents in different named locations. Then we have search chests at loot lake or snobby shores. Then we have visit pirate camps in a single match. Then we have visit junk junction and the block in a single match. And a few other locations which will be specified in the game. So yes, I hope you guys are still remembering because I'm gifting my subscribers some free skins so make sure you follow the rules that i will be mentioning here in the video well, first of all you need to smash the like button second you need to comment your gamer tag and third and the most important thing you need to subscribe to the channel 
turn on the notification bell help us reach the 300,000 subscribers and that would highly be appreciated ladies and gentlemen yeah make sure like if you follow the rules i will be adding you guys and after adding like after a couple of days when the gifting uh i'm when i'm able to gift after like two three days after accepting your friend request uh, then i will be hooking you guys up with some free skins from myself which will be available in the fortnite item shop for that particular day so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you will be able to collect your secret banner or secret battle star whichever will be appearing in this video that i showed you guys here today you need to go to that wooden rabbit i even showed you guys the loading screen how the wallpaper is going to look how you can go to that exact location to claim your secret stuff for week seven in fortnite season eight thank you so much for watching today's video my name is tamashiba i will be signing off for today make sure to check out the videos which will be appearing at the end of the screen and yeah with that being said goodbye and peace out and also don't forget to just join me on the live stream which is going to happen today.